Hello also in last video we saw how can we create multiple files dynamically using transaction control transformation so this was the mapping and this is the transaction control transformation and wherein we specified the condition so if job ID changes you commit all the records before that new job ID okay so that's the reason why uh, like as you can see there are 18 distinct job IDs and since we are committing after every job ID gets getting changed 18 different files got created now let's assume uh, there is a requirement wherein you have to uh, load multiple files in a single mapping using single source exactly the same scenario like here each file has same structure for example if I open right employee ID first name last name first column is a header similarly let me open the other one okay so all 18 different files are having same structure and our requirement is to load all those files in a single table how can we do that so in IICS uh, there is something called indirect file load so basically we'll have to list down all these files in a single file okay just the name or the entire path and instead of specifying each different file we just have to specify that uh, final file I mean which which has all the 18 file list okay we'll see that how can we do that so the very first thing as I said we'll have to create a file which will have the list of all these 18 files so what I will do okay so let me go to this path okay and how can we list all the files in the current directory so dir slash b okay so this will give us the list of all the files in current directory and we'll redirect that to indirect file list okay so let me open this guy so the new file got created that has the list of all the 18 files now let me delete this one we don't need this so these are all the all 18 files okay now what we'll do let me go ahead and create a new mapping let me close this guy and new mapping 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 create so I will name that mapping as m underscore indirect file load okay now as I said my source would not be all the 18 files but a file which has a list of all the 18 files so that is why they call it as a indirect so src indirect file load all right source connection I will use on premise flat file okay and that that particular flat file connection is pointing to this out file directory so I mean we can uh, identify that so we are seeing the list of all the files available right so over here I will choose indirect file list there are other options here like formatting options so if I click here it's a comma separated delimiter right so if I open any file here my all files are comma separated so this is correct okay then double quotes that is also correct import from row first because every file uh, the first row is a header row so and first data row is a second row okay so this is all looks good and it's a delimited file so that's fine perfect uh, there is one more thing so I don't want to load all that data into same target instead what I will do is I will create a new table so employees let me drop this guy it's fine let me create a new one okay employees indirect indirect file load okay and what I will do let me change the data type of all that columns to varchar 100 because the file has uh, null values we can handle those null values but for the sake of this video let's keep it simple so I will define everything as varchar and because null value I mean 
we'll have to handle those null values while inserting data into I'll keep this created and updated on inserting data into decimal or in data type so where care is the easiest option there is one extra column I will add like uh, file name so we'll also maintain the particular record came from which file all right so I will not create this is this is fine uh, it's already default bound to it okay so I have mentioned everything as bare care let me just this is this is fine all right let me perf already object employee ready. I will drop it sorry for that drop table this guy perfect all right what I will do now is uh, let me import that target so I will go to target TGT indirect file door I will have to select on prem SQL server and employee indirect file load that's the this one perfect operation I will select truncate load and insert that's fine now coming back to field mapping so what I will do is let me go back to the source I will go to the fields let me click on preview preview okay there is something wrong I, I think I missed something let me go back oh you know okay and the source has to be indirect file list I think I missed something I am supposed to select indirect file file list yeah that's the reason why it was not showing up so I am supposed to select source type as file list and now I will select this guy okay now let me click on preview let's see what happens run preview because only one column was appearing that's the reason why I got surprised like why it's behaving that way run preview it should display all employee table columns employee ID first name last name perfect all right so now the last thing we have to do is have to go to incoming fields perfect field mapping I will use smart map perfect maybe I will unmap this two guys okay so employee ID first name last name email phone number hire ID job ID salary commission manager id department ID, current process filing perfect let me save this guy and let's query on our table select star from there is no there are no records let me just click on refresh local cache Okay, there are no records and let me run this guy let's see what happens new jobs one zero nine perfect as you can see 109 records got inserted and we also have our file name like a particular record got inserted from which file I mean we can also check that let me just cross verify 
Okay, so there are 18 records here. Group by job ID, maybe order by one, order by two, descending, and yeah, it matches. All right. So thanks for watching this video, and see you in the next video. So basically, let me just. Uh, quickly do the recap it's very simple mapping as you can see in source we just have to select file list all right if you select file list and you, if you specify a list of files that's all nothing else here it's very simple mapping all right so thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video